You ready to fight? You ready? Well, great to be with you tonight, live from Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And when I was here for UFC 113 back in 2010, George St. Pierre wasn't even fighting. <laughs> Loudest pro sports venue I have ever heard of. John, they get so excited to watch a fight. Look, man, when you go to Montreal, it's a great city, but it's cold. People are going to the arena not only for fights, but to escape the snow. And once they get there, they are screaming and going absolutely crazy. This is a great fight environment. Push kick there to the body. Now with the knee. Oh, yes. All right, we go to the clinch right now where this BJJ fighter has been pretty good at finding a way to get the fight to the ground. We'll see if he can do it here. He gets the fight to the ground mainly from the clinch. This is exactly where he needs to be. He got chest to chest, and now he's going to try to impose himself on his opponent to start to really wear at, that, wear at the cardio. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Lands a good series of kicks here. Cop gets lit up by that uppercut. Under three minutes, not a good on the round. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Throwing that jab, no good. Slips the shot. Nice front kick there. Oh, straight punch. All right, so that cast starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, and there's that head kick. You keep talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Time oh, sounds for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from... All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it's... You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very easy. Oh, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. And a knee. Block that punch. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Moreno's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. He's able to slip the round. Oh, no. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. 
Well, hard to imagine we would get this late in the fight and have the BJJ practitioner not attempt a single takedown. What gives? I have no idea. He's not even tried to get this fight to the ground. I don't know what's happening, or maybe something happened earlier in the fight that's deterred him from fighting the fight that we have come to expect from this guy. It is, it is, I mean, I cannot believe what we are watching. Oh, sneaky there. The ankle pick is good. Front kick to the body by Moreno. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this way. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect Tom as we go forward. Pops lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. Beautiful. And now leather being thrown on both sides. finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Brandon, the Assassin Baby, Moreno! As good a finish as we have seen of late from Brandon Moreno, your winner tonight by TKO. What he does is finish fights. It does not matter how. He finds ways to end his opponent's night, and tonight he did just that. Another